time we do a top 10 list or a group therapy, I'm always impressed with the quality of answers that we have out there. That tells me not only are you a super smart bunch, it means that far too many of you have had to deal with similar issues and have had good experience with what to do. This week is no exception. Our group therapy this week reads, Help me, Rhonda. I have a very high alpha female boss who is very intelligent, speaks at lightning speed, and sometimes doesn't deliver her words or think about how hurtful or demeaning she can be. How should I handle these statements and or have a better working relationship as her admin? We've had some super advice to share with you this week. Becky Schwant from Topeka, Kansas, shared that she was in your shoes and was willing to share the exact phrasing that turned her career around with her boss. Becky did say to remember that likely your boss had a very personal struggle somewhere in life that makes them need to demean others so they feel powerful and worthy. Yuck. And acknowledging that gives you a whole different perspective on how to deal with them. They crave control and attention, but never really intend to truly hurt. Most likely, she bites because she knows that most will cower and simply follow in step with her wishes. Actually, by biting back respectfully, you will earn the respect you deserve. The next time she delivers hurtful words, wait until she has 20 to 30 minutes free or create it the same day if possible, walk into her office and close the door behind you. She will likely ask you why you've closed the door. Your response, and these are Becky's words, I respect you, so I'm closing the door. Then you must continue. I want to partner with you. It's my goal to make you soar, but I'm asking for your respect in return. I'm not sure you're aware, but your words and actions are often disrespectful to me. Now, you've padded her ego between the lines, but you've laid a large claim out on the table and you've likely baffled her. Stay the course. You must give specific examples of the mistreatment, how it breaks the bond of helping her and solutions for how to go about it differently in the future, such as you told me in front of others that my report was trash in the future. Please give me the dignity that I show you by privately giving me feedback. I want to learn from you. Let's review specific examples in the workplace and the revisions that you need to make for it to be acceptable. Stroke her ego, but stand strong, knowing that you deserve to be treated as you would treat others. Becky's experiences grew her profession tremendously, and she hopes that this betters your career as well. Sherry Chestnut from Woodland Hills, California, says to picture dealing with a three-year-old because perhaps the boss doesn't have the tools, maybe because of the stress, to communicate as professionally as she should. Keeping your head and voice in a calm and in-charge sounding manner, which will deflect and potentially move any misplaced anger or frustration that your boss throws at you. Dana Hoffman from North Ridgeville, Ohio, advises you to be prepared to respond when she says something hurtful with the response such as, what do you mean by that? Or did I do something wrong? I feel like you're being short with me. Dana says that you need to have the line prepared and ready to go and that she usually has to practice before she gets the courage to actually say it. Leslie Black from Boise, Idaho, says that you must have a one-on-one conversation in order to make change. It will be hard, but it has to happen, and it may need to happen multiple times, but you need to do it for you. Kathleen Angel from Calgary, Alberta, takes Leslie's thought a step further and says that even if you have the conversation, your manager needs to be willing to look at their own behaviors. If they are not self-aware or not willing to change, No amount of conversation will change things. They don't need to compromise for you. And sadly, there are many people who don't look into the mirror and acknowledge their own faults. So if the conversation doesn't work, don't automatically assume that it's your fault. Tina Short from Victoria, BC and Warren Munn from right there have similar advice. Tina suggests that you ask her to slow down in her instructions as you don't want to miss anything and you want to make sure that you do a good job. Warren advises you to follow up with the boss on email to ensure that you capture the instructions correctly. 
From Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Jennifer Tassello says that when you have a chat with your boss to tactfully explain that there are times when you feel her tone is abrupt and that you would like to communicate on a more common ground. Jennifer suggests that perhaps you could reframe the question you use so that when you say it, she can stop and reflect and regroup. For example, if she's being demeaning, maybe you could say, how are you feeling today? She might eventually figure out what you're doing and make adjustments. And then as always is helpful, a few of you took the complete opposite approach. Maureen Pearl from Sparks, Nevada said that you should not approach her about it as this is her communication style and you are probably not going to change her anytime soon. If anything, you can learn to adapt to her communication style. Being a woman of power, being a woman of power, she would probably appreciate the questions such as what can I do to better support you during your next one on one? Adopting her style does not mean be rude and demeaning back. And Patricia Flavin from Bridgewater, New Jersey says that you know that it isn't personal and is likely a result of a lot of the stress that she is under and says that you can make the choice to ignore it, except that this is the way she communicates and don't make it about you. Don't take it personally. Whatever approach you take, you have to decide. Will you have that difficult conversation? Will you adjust the way you communicate with her or will you look the other way? There is no such thing as one size fits all. So you do what works for you. If you like today's group therapy, please click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any of our helpful videos and good luck.